Today, me and my okay, husband so was discriminated against McKenzie because we was black gay men. Hey, okay, and I didn't want to do this. If there's a camera, I'm not going to talk to you. No, you don't, you don't You don't have to talk to me. Because, if, if, listen, if you don't want to talk, yeah, and this is a prime example, this is what I want y'all to see. Don't come get a car. Don't come spend your tax money at ALM. This is what we want to do. This is what we want to do. Don't come spend your money at ALM, your tax money at ALM, because the customer service is, is horrible. You can call the police. We have a contract. Yeah, not need corporate. We have a contract. Still need corporate number. What they want to do is call Cobb, Con Cow Cobb County to try to have you locked up for coming down here speaking your piece because what they want to do is give you a vehicle that's inoperable and doesn't work. So again, do not come to AOM, TikTok, millions of views to get your vehicle because they don't give a damn about you. What they want to do is call the police. But guess what? The police will see the video before they see me. All right, guys, so it's videos like this that make me believe that social media is going to go down as the greatest slash worst invention of all time, okay? Uh, because, unfortunately, for as great as social media has been in regards to connecting the world and people getting access to information and other viewpoints, it has incentivized a lot of people to do whatever they can necessary to gain fame and clout and ultimately money from victimhood, okay? Victimizing themselves, playing fake victim, causing a fuss, being ignorant in public, and just being an overall embarrassment. And that's exactly what this video right here is, as um, we gotta talk about a TikToker who goes by Father Flex, who posts videos um, on TikTok in which he, he does things like, like this for proper context. <laughs> Yeah, so these are agents of chaos, okay, uh, who do silly stuff in public for attention and for, I guess, comedy online to get followers. Right, and most of his videos I've watched has been him doing again silly stuff, skits, uh, trying to get attention, talking about being gay. Um, I mean, I mean that that's for the most part what he talks about, okay. And then it's the occasional I was a victim somehow, okay. And this uh, video right here uh, that is going viral of this interaction that he had with this guy who happened to be white at a restaurant in Georgia is really pathetic okay it is really an attempt to try to paint himself to be a victim while at the same time trying to embarrass a man who's simply trying to eat his meal in peace without having this guy blast music in his ear which is what he was doing in this restaurant this white guy is going to simply just ask him to um not blast music or to turn the volume down on the music and it's not very clear whether or not the issue was the guy blasting music or on FaceTime. Now, the guy in this video seems to indicate that it was music, okay? Uh, but in the comment section, <laughs> with his broken English, we're going to see it later, uh, he says that, well, he was on FaceTime. So, we really don't know, but regardless, I think that everything still applies. You shouldn't be playing music or on FaceTime loudly in a restaurant. I think that's just rude, right? If you got to FaceTime somebody... You leave the restaurant, okay? Uh, you go outside to do that. You don't just do that in the restaurant. And he was told to turn the volume down, right? Turn the volume down. And somehow this guy is going to try to make it out to be racist. Now, again, this guy is putting this TikTok online to his followers that this white guy back here is racist for asking him to turn the volume down. So while further ado... Let's go ahead and get into it. Racism Sir, is still real in Georgia. I can't believe Bob said, tried me like that. What was it you what was it that you was asking me before you interrupted me with my dinner? Cause I turned it all the way down for you. Okay, but what was it that you was asking me? Is there a reason why you were asking me to turn my phone down when there's a band playing music that I don't give a fuck about hearing? Well, the reason why is because when you go to a restaurant, um the music that they're playing in a restaurant, yes, everybody has to listen to that. That is the music that they play at the restaurant. That's a part of the ambiance or the service that you're getting 
going to a restaurant. Like if you go to a restaurant with a country theme, you're going to get country music, right? I mean, that is the theme of the restaurant. You should know that before you go. Um, but that doesn't mean just because you don't like the music that you can just pull out your phone and start playing your own music. Like that is rude, right? That is rude and disrespectful to people eating around you. They didn't go to the restaurant to listen to your music and you play your music. But again, somehow this dude is so entitled uh, that he feels like people should not be allowed to tell him to turn the music down when you're in a public place, when you're in a restaurant eating. Apparently that's racism, right? That's racism. Do you think it's appropriate for you to ask me, a 33 year old, a black man to turn his motherfucking phone down? What does your skin color have to do with it, bro? Just because you're black and he's white doesn't mean that he can't say something to you. He can't address you in public if you're doing something wrong, right? What's wrong with these people, bro? What is wrong with these people? You should know, you shouldn't say a motherfucking thing to me. This guy's face. My hand shouldn't be shaking while I'm eating my motherfucking shit. Now what you better do is fuck do the do over there and leave me the fuck alone. You got the knife backwards, bro. Clown stuff, bro. This is just clown behavior, bro. Well, another black man to turn his motherfucker phone down no time soon again. <laughs> again, absolute embarrassment. He embarrassed himself. Again, the worst part is that he posted his man on social media and tried to make the man seem racist for something so trivial, so small as to simply ask him, hey, can you turn your phone down? Can you not play what probably was ratchet music, right, at this restaurant that they're eating at? Again, this is why social media is such a terrible invention. People like this getting fame and clout for doing stuff like this, for this fake victimhood, this race-baiting nonsense. Again, these are agents of chaos whose sole purpose in life is to cause as much chaos as possible. I mean, even the people in the comment section oh the tiktok video even they just like nah bruh <laughs> right we don't understand what's going on here like what are you doing okay this person says we need the video from when he asked to turn your phone down because this part not showing no racism i hate people having loud phone next to me in public facts confused sorry i think i missed something was he rude about it did he call you out your name i personally hate to hear anyone phone while i'm out to eat you can't go anywhere without rude people having their phone blaring with music, playing games, etc. That's why there's headphones. <laughs> the knife upside down had me rolling as you should. Let them know what's up. Again, so you got some people that are, are going along with this nonsense. But clearly this is backfire, right? People are like, wait, is this a joke or what? I had to miss something. Cancel me if you want. <laughs> I think everyone should respect each other. I think I missed something. I think I definitely missed something. Is there another part of this? Or did I miss something? I'm a little confused. I don't see any racism as for the volume of the phone. He has to be joking. You can tell he is mad because when I get real mad, my hands start shaking too. I'll be ready to fight. I feel you. That's me too. <laughs> I don't know, man. I get pretty annoyed when someone near me phone is loud. But I'm not bold enough to ask them to turn it down, though. I don't know. He seemed chill to me unless you were missing a piece of the video. I was waiting for something else other than can you please turn your music down. He said he wasn't playing music. He said he was on FaceTime. My phone wasn't louder than the people that was t uh, talking, it, band, playing, we, bout, in movies. Yeah, I mean, this guy can barely even articulate uh what he's trying to say here right so i don't know exactly what happened but this guy was on facetime right and they asked him to turn the phone down and he just i guess decided that he wasn't going to do it right it was rude <laughs> he claims that blacks and trans people are not safe <laughs> is he crazy dementia okay yeah this guy needs to go back to school again that's what i'm talking about this guy can barely write <laughs> right he can barely articulate himself but has what hundreds of thousands of uh people on tiktok that follow him. Again, absolutely. Just, this is how sad our country is. It really is. 
Um, anyways, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.